These new restrictions will kick in from Saturday next. All passengers arriving in Ireland must have a negative or not detected COVID-19 test carried out. That test must have been carried out in the 72 hours prior to arriving here in the country. Now that restriction is already in place for a number of days for people coming in from the United Kingdom or from South Africa. And once you arrive in the country, there are differing level of restrictions depending on where you travelled from. So if you've come in from the UK or South Africa, you have to continue to self-isolate for a period of 14 days. If you're travelling in from a grey or a red country, you have to restrict your movements for 14 days. And if you're coming from a green or an orange country, you just have to adhere to the public health guidelines. But all passengers, no matter where you're travelling from, now have to have that negative COVID test. Airports around the country are extremely quiet at the moment. As you can understand, there's approximately 8,000 people passing through Dublin Airport here on a daily basis. Those working in the travel industry say that these new restrictions will likely cause a further dip in those numbers. It'll have the effect of killing off any forward bookings and reducing aviation to a trickle over the next two or three months. It means that it makes it quite expensive to get into the country and possibly to get out again. We have very expensive PCR tests in Ireland. They cost much more than other countries. Incoming mightn't be that expensive, but it certainly, if you're travelling as a group, will raise the cost of that travel. Well, those COVID tests will be checked at the airport by border management and members of Angora the Siakona. And there is a number of exceptions. They include international transport workers, members of Angora the Siakona who are travelling for work and children under the age of six.